Yeah, Biggie versus Sheamus. What do you think? Two questions. Number one, what? Why in the blue hell are they trying to push Biggie going to turn into being serious when he's wearing a friggin' all that logo on his jacket and boots? All that was a 1990s kids show. I remember that because I watched it. <laughs> Look it up. It's an all that logo, mind you. And num and and then the other question: What the hell was Seamus wearing? He looked like an Irish rapper in one of it, in the skits or in the match card. What's oh the yeah, that was so weird. He was he was wearing his uh, bar fight outfit that he faced Jeff Hardy on SmackDown in all the match cards, and then he came out and he looked like Seamus from two thousand nine. It was yeah, so strange. which is my favorite version, mind you. Yeah. But still, like, why would you put the match card version and they had this one look different? Like, it, it's weird, but. Nonetheless, yeah. like you mentioned, it, so it was a, it was a, a decent big guys match. You know, nothing to remember or write home about. Like luster ending, fine. Uh, hopefully, this does continue on with the pet of Big E becoming a little bit more serious. I'm not saying you know, big becoming the old Big E, where he was literally like the most boring big guy in 2012, uh, to the point where even his WrestleMania debut. Was forgotten. I mean, I had to literally look it up just to remember, you know, where the hell he started. But nah, just, 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 just a bit more. But I don't see it happening if he's gonna continue wearing those freaking stupid. Not stupid. I love the show, but you know what I mean. That, those childish logos in his attire, juggling his hips left and right, like Biggie. At this point, I get it. I saw the interview with Miss. He's trying to be himself, but sometimes being being yourself is not good enough in this environment. You gotta find something to where it sells, not just being yourself. I don't see Big E being successful uh, as himself without the New Day's persona slash element right now. Hopefully, I'll be wrong. Hopefully, this new direction, if it is a new direction, not something that they're, going, they're just trying, will result in something. But I don't know. I don't know. Big E has been lost in the shovel for like eight years now. So I don't know. There's only so much this guy can try to make it to the top. Hopefully, he will. But you know, I don't see much options for him. So you you, you don't think Biggie doing the New Day stick on his own works as well as it did as a group? No, no. I'm saying if he continues this version, he might. But then he'll have to share the spotlight with Xavier Woods and uh, Kofi Kingston because they, they are the New Day. So yeah. if he's gonna have a singles run, he has to be by himself. If he's uh, you know if he's gonna be with New Day then he's going to have to uh, share the elements of New Day. It's quite simple. So you can't have both. That's what I'm saying. And I, think, it, I think the idea is that he's like he's still New Day, and then at, at the sort of back end of this, he is going to come back with New Day. But Kofi and Xavier are both out with injuries right now, and that's sort of what has led to this uh, singles push for Big E. But he's still I, New Day. Oh, maybe they can find a good hybrid for it. But usually, you know, uh, when people try to do a hybrid it they lose their identity so they gotta be careful with this one if that's the case then great but i don't want it to have it to where the only time these kids get not these kids these guys get singles pushes is if the other two get injured because that's just nasty so it's like hey guy can you uh, get injured for me so we get a singles push i don't want that mentality you know so yeah if the guy deserves it you know Big E does deserve it I'm just saying, you know, he has to find the right balance when it comes to his character because the goofball Big E, no, I don't buy it. The serious Big E was boring. So I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I, I really don't know. I'm just saying, like, I don't believe this version of Big E is world championship material. There is to be, I'm not saying remove it. I'm saying add something to it. I hate it when people change the fundamentals of the gimmick. I love it when they add it. But I don't like it when they removed it. The worst case was Del Rio when he went from being the Mexican drug lord to like one of the heroic Mexican wrestlers. Like you know, it's just just it just completely ruined him. So hopefully, you know, things will change for Biggie for better. Yeah, yeah. No, you you got some good points. I think uh, I think they are trying to add something to the whole dynamic at the moment with this whole thing going back and forth between him and the Miz and and what Biggie needs to bring to the table in order to uh, um, sort of be able to do what he needs to be able to do uh j j just more of a ruthless streak i think would be nice to see in him just sort of still playing to the old uh new day stuff still being in that mentality but just being more focused more ruthless when it comes to the matches uh and then sort of saving the dancing and the the silliness for the celebrations you know right 
Right, and, and like I said, a, a balance, because The Rock did it the best, I think. He found a, a very good balance between entertainment and seriousness. If Biggie can find a similar balance, then, you know, I would buy it. But shaking his hips around and throwing pancakes over the ring, like, I I, I, I can't buy it, especially with the All That logo. That's just, like, that, that, that didn't really want me to choke him. <laughs> like, like, you're trying to be serious. You're coming out with that childish logo on the back and, no. So no. what, what did you uh, what, what did you think of Kofi's reign then? Because Kofi won oh, the title with, while doing all the silliness. I you... know, I know. I was happy when he won it. I was really like, yes, finally, because I wanted him to win it back in two thousand and nine when he started to with Randy Orton. I'm like, yes. But then he came. And then on SmackDown, he came out with that freaking pancake in his title. I wanted his title reign to end immediately <laughs> as soon as I saw that, because dude, if if he if Ziggler got heat. For shaking his ass with the title, then what the hell is Kofi doing? And the fact, the sad part is, Kofi got a six month title reign while Ziggler got two months or one month. I don't know, but it was very forgettable. While Kofi had a six month long reign. And I think that was the reason why Vince might have made Lesnar squash Kofi. Because, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just serious. I'm serious, though. I know it's funny, but I would have done the same thing if Kofi, for the love of God, was still like, this is the most prestigious. Vince McMahon is the same person that would yell at you for calling the title a belt. And you think it's going to let you put pancakes inside it and not let you get away with it? Dude, you know that had to be a connection. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. 